It's a plan to return pubs, to take the restrictions off pubs. And like the Restaurant and Caterers Association submission we revealed last week, that went to National Cabinet, this went to National Cabinet. It's a way forward for the industry. Scott Morrison said yesterday, encourage this sort of thing, proactive. And this submission says, as the outbreak is under control, it is time to consider the exit strategy to recovery in a way that is both safe and sustainable. Suggestions the industry is in hibernation are not realistic, with operators continuing to pay rates, land tax, corporate tax, fixed overheads. Australian hotels have virtually zero revenue, at the same time accumulating an unsustainable volume of debt, points well made, Def Cliff accruing at rates of 15 grand to 300 grand per month. Longer hotels are shut down, the more likely a business will not recover. Well, let's have a look at some of these measures. You see them up there. So social distancing principles of 1.5 metres and one person per four square metres with an encouragement and promotion of the use of the COVID Safe app. We know the Prime Minister's ruled out mandating the COVID Safe app. We know he's, he's ruled out having it as a passport to get into a venue, but you can encourage your staff to use it. Then uh, the suggestion is a nominated hygiene, capacity and distancing supervisor, increased f uh, cleaning frequency of all touch points such as tables, handrails, taps and terminals. Before reopening, all venues would be required to conduct a deep clean of counters, tables, doors, handles, keyboards, taps, chairs, handrails, tills phones, vending machines, terminals. Staff would be required to undertake hand washing every 30 minutes for 20 seconds. Daily temperature checks on all staff. Regular cleaning and disinfection of all staff and patron touch points. No food buffets, no communal free food, water stations, no children's playgrounds, no nightclubs, minimising the number of workers attending to deliveries and contractors as much as possible. Despite all this, despite hope from the Prime Minister and the Treasurer that things will open up sooner, I'm still told that in New South Wales in particular, it's unlikely we'll hear about pubs reopening or clubs reopening or even potentially restaurants and cafes reopening when National Cabinet meets on Friday. Much more likely for other states to go first, and we know Victoria is very conservative there too. Here's the difficulty. I don't think there's any doubt that there'll be a change in when jurisdictions move here, a bit like there has been on, on schools. States see themselves in different situations. But on the COVID app, Kieran, I just wanted to show you this front page of The Times that from yesterday, which, which, which was released uh, last night our time. Because look at that. It says, download tracing app and get UK back to work. So the POMs are behind us, Kieran. They've got many, many more mm -hmm. cases and many, many more deaths than us but their methodology is going to be the same, which is a firm endorsement of Scott Morrison's approach in my book. It does seem like Singapore, us, now the UK, they do believe the tracing app is necessary. It is necessary for people to push aside their privacy concerns with strict legislation, as we know, jail penalties, if it's, if it's uh, from five years, Christian Porter, the Attorney General, suggesting if it's not used in a correct manner, Push aside those privacy concerns to attempt to keep us all safe so they can isolate clusters and outbreaks.